Hello, uh, this is my special and is for 90 minutes. ABC told me that I could have a special and so, you know, they give me $100,000 and they say, you can do whatever you want with this money. So uh, I was supposed to, you know, hire writers and uh, guests, but uh, I was so lazy and so, uh, you know, I did not do it. <laughs> so uh, I went on vacation with the money and now I have nothing left but just for this one camera and this chair, you know. So there is no special, just me. <laughs> I have no, no material, no guests, nothing. Right? <laughs> uh, so we will just sit here like this for, for 90 minutes. They, they think I am fooling, it's, it's like a joke. <laughs> no, it's, no, it's not a joke, you think I am fooling, but in half an hour you see I will be sitting here and you'll say, oh, it, it's not a joke, <laughs> you know? Da, 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 da. Now that we have lost uh, the audience, and now only my friends are watching, I would like to show my special. Oh, look. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's very beautiful. These beautiful girls are dancing. And now, oh, it's wonderful. Look at this. Oh, now this, this, they are going to one side. And now this man in the baggy pants, he's coming out and he's, he's singing funny voice. You know, he has a funny voice. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for Andy's Funhouse, starring Andy Kaufman. With Andy's guests, Cindy Williams, Little Wendy, Gail Slobotkin, the B Street Conga Band, and Chubby Rosalie, with special guests Howdy Doody, and also cartoons, games, fun, and many other surprises. And now, here he is, Andy Kaufman! is too much traffic. <laughs> you know, tonight I had to come from Santa Monica. <laughs> it was, I was on the freeway. And you know, it was so much traffic, it took me an hour and a half to get here. <laughs> <laughs> but talking about the terrible things, my wife, take my wife, please take her. <laughs> No, really, I am only fooling. I, I love my wife very much, but uh, she don't know how to cook. You know, one night she make me steak and mashed potato, and the night before she makes spaghetti and meatballs. Her cooking is so bad, it's terrible. <laughs> But you know, I, I would like to, to tell you the story of the three people who was carrying the biggest cannon in the world to Spain. It, it was uh, two boys and one girl. And they had this big cannon, you know, it, it was 50 feet long. And they carried it over the mountains and under the valleys. And one day, <laughs> one day they get to the top of the highest mountain in Spain. So the first boy, he point this cannon to this casser, you know, to shoot, you know, because, you know, because he was the boss, you know, so he, he want to point it. And he turned to the second boy and he say, uh, all right, 
hand me the cannonball. And you know, but the second boy, he say, Duh, I thought you had them. <laughs> so wait, 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 so listen, listen, wait. <laughs> my breath. 
this is uh, Gatorade. They told me backstage it works uh, 10 times faster than water, so if I run off stage in the middle of the show, don't worry, I'll be right back. <laughs> to uh, do one of my biggest records for you. Of course, all them the same size. <laughs> one of the first songs I ever recorded back in 1927, I think it was. <laughs> it went something like this. <laughs> oh, hold it, hold, 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 hold. Something wrong with my lip. I think I'll take this thing off. Move around a little more. <laughs> a one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, so far, everything I've ever done for you, really, I'm only fooling. This is really me, and we'll be right back after this. Oh, you're off the air? You're off the air? Okay, could I please have my clothes back? Oh. Give me my clothes back, okay? Come on, the jacket lady. Don't be a wise man, come on. Okay, thanks. You're staring at me. You look marvelous. Do you know what you'd like? Oh, I've known for some time. I met on a menu. Oh. The Accents Collection. Outrageously rich L'Oreal colors that daringly accent your eyes, deliciously accent your lips, and brilliantly accent your nails. Uh, I've decided what I want. So have I. French eye, lip, and nail accents. The new spirit of chic, captured in color by L'Oreal. Hi, I'm Katie, your new cleaning lady. 
Now, I don't wash windows or defrost refrigerators. I use pine saw and only pine saw. Brought my own this time, but you'll have to stock up. See this grease? Concentrated pine saw cuts through grease better than any leading liquid cleaner. Pine saw cleaner disinfectant kills household germs and their odors and leaves a fresh, clean scent. Pine saw cleans grease better, kills germs, and leaves a fresh scent. Any questions? Would you like to use my pine saw? We'll get along just fine. What do, you, what do you got here? This is the water you wanted. Oh, okay. <laughs> what, what are you giving me here? This is, this is tap water. Why are you giving me spring water? Why don't you give me spring water? I asked for water, okay? I didn't mean tap water. I meant spring water. It's a network show. You think you can get it together, huh? Okay, we'll Okay? Go. Yeah. Fine. You know what I'm talking about, pal? We have to take it. Huh? Okay? We have to take it, Mr. Kaufman. Huh? Andy, Andy, we have What'd to take it. What'd you call me? Mr. Kaufman, okay? Mr. Kaufman, you're just a stagehand. You understand that? Get it through your head, okay? Your name is Mr. Kaufman, not Andy. Five you. seconds. Okay? Five, Fine. Don't give me four, a hard time, pal. You're three, just a stagehand. Two, two. Okay. <laughs> you're back. And, uh, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, uh, we're back on Andy's Funhouse. And right now, let's come over to the piano, okay? <laughs> okay, we're going to sing a little song right now. Just what to give him. 
Then I found out what more pediatricians give their own kids. Children's Tylenol. Well, I figure if they give it to their kids, I'll give it to mine. Aspirin-free children's Tylenol. Drops for infants, liquid, and chewable tablets for older kids. Children's Tylenol. It makes us both feel better. Children's Tylenol. It's the one more pediatricians give their own children. Tomorrow, the season premiere of the World Series of Auto Racing featuring the International Race of Champions. Then on the American Sportsman, marathon swimmer Diana Nyad swims with the whales of Argentina and climbers scale a sheer frozen waterfall. Then the Pro Bowlers Tour live and on ABC's Wide World of Sports, relive the amazing Olympic victories of America's team and interviews with the gold medal heroes. Also sheer brute force and power, the World Weightlifting Championships and the incredible men who soar over 500 feet through the air. Tomorrow... My first guest is a fine actress. Uh, she was in Travels with My Aunt, which was directed by George Cukor. She was in, she was in Drive, he said, directed by Jack Nicholson. She co-starred in The Conversation, which was directed by Francis Ford Coppola. Her appearance in American Graffiti, which was directed by George Lucas, who also did Star Wars, won her an a nomination for the British Academy Award. She's a member of the Actors Studio. Let's have a big, big hand for Cindy Laverne and Shirley Williams. Well, hi, Cindy. Well, hi, Andy. How are you? Well, I'm just fine, thank you. How are you? I'm fine. Good, good. Thank you for coming. Well, thank you for having me. Okay. I... <laughs> okay! <laughs> I... <laughs> I understand that uh, you just were on a trip to Russia. Mm. Yes, yes, I was. I went to Russia. I went to all of Eastern Europe, to Poland, uh, to Finland, to Norway, to um, Sweden. Uh, well, that's, I guess, not Eastern Europe, but anyway, to Russia. I was there in Leningrad, yes. Uh-huh. And did you see, was it interesting? Yes. It was what very was it like? interesting. It was, uh, well, it was just like what you imagine it to be, sort of. Well, only... I guess you should go there because you know how people think, you know, that communist countries are in their mind and you should go to a country like that to see if it's, if it's true, if the visions in your mind are actually what is in that country. Like, for instance, I didn't think that there were stoplights in Russia and there are stoplights in uh -huh. Russia. <laughs> well, did you, did you get to see any of the, any other countries besides Russia? Well, I went to Poland. And, and I did go to Norway and Finland yeah. and, um, let's see, uh, Bergen, uh, I went to, well, uh, Finland is very pretty. Yeah? Yeah, it's like San Francisco only without the hills. And uh, a, fu a funny thing about Finland is that uh, Finland, well, Finland was at the end of our trip. Did and you, so fi did you? Finland was... Um, oh, well, <laughs> you know, do, do you have anything on your schedule now that you're back? Now that I'm back, yeah. working. Uh huh. Well, I'm working. I'm doing the show. And, yeah. Um, which show? Laverne and Shirley. Laverne and Shirley. Yeah. Um, and, and which one are you on Laverne and Shirley? <laughs> um, now, you work with Penny Marshall every week. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I Have do. Have you uh, gotten to know her? <laughs> yes, I know Penny very well. Well, because I work with her. Yeah. All the time. What's it like to work with her every week? It's terrific. We have a great time. We have a lot of fun, and I think yeah. that's probably the reason the show's such a Must big success. Must be a lot of fun. Yeah. Do you really know her? Do you really know her well? Well, I, I work with her every week, so I guess I know her really well. Yeah, yeah. I do. Is she a lot of fun to be with? <laughs> yes, she's a lot of fun. She she has a great wit, and she's she's very charming, and she she's a whole bunch of fun. Yeah, does she have any hobbies? <laughs> she, um, yes, she does. She does. She likes to put puzzles together and, uh -huh. and, do, and do crossword puzzles. Yeah? Uh-huh. And does she really wear initials on her dress? You know, like the big L? You mean in real life? Does yeah. Does she do that? Yeah. Like, well, she... No, because her name's Penny. Uh-huh. Does she wear... <laughs> well, does she wear... Now, I heard she was, um, a riot on the 
set. She must be a real riot on the set. Is that true? Yeah. Well, I'm laugh a minute. Well, yes. Uh -huh. The set's a lot of fun, and Penny's a riot. Uh huh. Uh -huh.
Bet you're admiring my suit. Nice, huh? It's Sears Bested Four-Piece Suit. You can wear it six different ways. On sale at Sears. Save $30. It comes with a reversible vest. <laughs> Looks good, fella. Just $95 at Sears. And two pairs of slacks. Oh, nice-looking pattern. Put together six great outfits at one great price. Right? Right. The Vested Four-Piece Suit. Save $30. Now just $95 at Sears, where America shops for value. All That Jazz, nominated for nine Academy Awards, including Best Director Bob Fosse, Best Actor Roy Scheider, Best Screenplay, and Best Picture. Prepare yourself for all that acclaim. All That Jazz, rated R, now playing. The Andy Kaufman special will return in a moment. The Strange, the Fantastic, television's most exciting new hour, Monday. That's incredible. Thank you. 
sure you have these things in your kitchen, and let's get it in front of us and let, join us at home, okay? Okay. 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 Now, let's see. What do we have tonight to eat? Well, we have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Everybody say, peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Very good. And we have chocolate milk. Everybody say, chocolate milk. Chocolate milk. Very good. And what are we going to make with our chocolate milk? Chocomarsh! That's right, Chocomarsh. You know, Uncle Andy's Chocomarsh. <laughs> you know, Chocomarsh is Choco Marvelous. And it's very simple to make. All you need is four things. You need the milk, the spoon, the glass, and last but not least, the Chocomarsh. Now this is what you do. You put the choco marsh into the glass, okay, and you put the milk into the glass, okay, and then we stir, and then what do we do with the spoon? Very good, we lick the spoon. Mm. Mm. And now we drink. And now, we eat. Mm. Wait a minute. And now, what do we have for dessert? Ice cream. Everybody say, mmm. Can we stop tape, please? Stopping tape! Oh. Oh. What's wrong? Do you have an antacid tablet? <laughs> He's sick again! Oh. My Elsa. Oy vey, it's me. Oy, 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 oy. I'm going to have to unbuckle the belt. <laughs> what? When are we going to be finished here? I got to go home. I want to go home. How much do we have to do? Why do we have to drink this stuff every week? <laughs> why don't we get an... Why do we have to get this for a sponsor? Why don't we have uh, toast or oatmeal? <laughs> what is this? That's going to make you feel better. Yeah? What is it? That's seltzer. We're going to take it soon. Yeah. Hey. Hey, this is good stuff. <laughs> what is this stuff? Just seltzer. Yeah? This is wonderful. I, I really like this stuff. Hey, I feel great. Hey, why don't we have them for a sponsor? I'd be happy to have my picture on his product. We, <laughs> you know, we call it Andy Seltzer. <laughs> Andy Seltzer. Okay. Every week I drink. <laughs> Feeling feel good? Hey. All right. Uh, yeah, I feel much better. Yeah, I feel much better. Hey, can we take so the show? We <laughs> sure. What do we have next? We have to do what Chubby we... Rosalie oh, again. you've got to be kidding me. We're going to bring that fat tub out again? <laughs> she could hear you. She's in the wings. She could hear oh, you. We're oh. going to take it. Oh. Hey, Chubb, how you doing, <laughs> Chubb? Get a load of the puss on that, huh? Get a load of the... <laughs> ready to take it? Hey, Chubb, how you doing? Hey, Chubb. Hey, all right. Five seconds. You think seconds, you can come out? You think four, you can make it, Chubb? Three, you got the energy? Where two, did you get the energy? Okay, now, ladies and gentlemen, here's my next guest, and a lot of you have been waiting for her. And, oh, sit down. Oh, I promise you'll be able to see. Come on, come on. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, in the back, please sit down. You'll be able to see from there, I promise. Okay, some of you have been really waiting a long time. Okay, okay. Um, okay, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to present Chubby Rosalie! And what is this? It's broken. TV, the TV is broken. I don't know what to do. Oh, well. Uh, in the meantime, we can have a commercial. And so when we come back, I hope it will be fixed. Right? College is going to be expensive.
expensive. So I'm gonna jump out of airplanes to get there. My daughter wants to pay her own way through college. <laughs> so I'm gonna fix Jeeps. You can join the Army for two, three, or four years and end up with as much as $17,100 for college. See your Army recruiter for details and how to qualify. I joined for just two years and I'll have $7,400 for college. This is the Army, a chance to serve your country as you serve yourself. Call this toll-free number now. Ragu classic combinations are three great tastes in spaghetti sauce. There's one classic combinations with sausage and peppers. That's some sauce. Another with mushrooms and onions. Mmm, mushrooms and onions. And a third with onions and peppers. Mmm, onions and peppers. That's some combination. Ragu classic combinations. That's Italian. Sunday, the Olympics are over, but 10-speed and brown shoe are roaring back and going for the gold. Nice, huh? But everyone wants into the game. Oh, that wasn't personal. And it's tough sledding for 10-speed and brown shoe. So how long have you been interested in motorcycles? Now it's time for the has-been corner. Okay, on this week's has-been corner, we have Gail Slobodkin. Now, Gail was in The Sound of Music, at the age of 10, and she was a great big hit, and a lot of people thought that she was going to be a great big star from it. She appeared in several movies after that, but none of them quite made it, and uh, her career kind of fizzled into oblivion. She did a few other things in the meantime, and recently she went to medical school, and she has just quit medical school so she could make a comeback in show business. And we're gonna give her an opportunity to make that comeback tonight. So let's welcome to this week's Has Been Corner, Gail Slobodkin. just wonderful. Thank you. Okay. What was it, what was it like when you first realized that you weren't going to make it in show business? And, you know, how did you feel when you first realized this? Well, it was a gradual process. I, it just happened uh, gradually, and uh, I wasn't really aware of it. Yeah? How does it feel to be a has-been? <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Kaufman. I never considered myself a has-been. Um... If you're not, if you're not a has-been, though, how come you went to medical school? I just had this calling. I thought I wanted to help mankind, and I thought the best way possible was uh, to go into medicine. And how come you quit medical school? Did you want to, you wanted the spotlight back on you, and you wanted all the fuss made well, about you Well, I just decided that where I really belonged was in front of the lights. Uh-huh, yeah. yeah. Well, that's great. I hope that you make it. Thank you. I really do. Uh, personally, I don't think you will. <laughs> No, 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 okay, okay, um, but, but, uh, anyway, I understand you're gonna, you have another song for us? Well, I have the song that we did in the show. Okay, what is it called? It's called The Lonely Goat Herd. Okay, here she is, Gail Slobodkin.
feeling good, feeling good about yourself. And it shows the way you should, the way you should about yourself. You're feeling good about yourself. You're drinking Diet Pepsi Cola with just one calorie and that great honest to Pepsi taste. And it shows in the way you look, the way you feel, and in everything you do. And you're drinking healthy diet. Girl Cheryl Teagues, the most photographed face in America, because she's got the look. The good skin look of clean makeup. CoverGirl Clean Makeup. Fresh, natural, healthy looking. Pure CoverGirl. And the clean is pure Noxema. So you feel good about looking good. For the good skin look of clean makeup. CoverGirl Clean Makeup by Noxema. My next guest was one of the first television personalities ever on television. His show was on from 1947 to 1960, and for me, he was the first star that I was ever aware of in my whole life. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor and privilege to present the original, yes, the original, Howdy Doody. for coming on my show. Oh, well, thank you for having me on your show, Andy. Boy, it, it, it sure feels great to be here. Well, it's great having you. You know, Howdy, I was watching you ever since I was a real little boy. I used to, every day, go into the, on, before the television, and I'd sit down and turn the, on your show at 5.30 every day, and I just thought it was great. Oh, gosh, well, thank you, Andy. You know, you're even older than me. Your show came on in 1947, and I was born a few years after that. So that means I was watching you since the time I could just first perceive images or sounds. Before I ever even knew what a television set was, I was watching you. So, like, you're the first friend from television I ever had. Probably the closest, I think. And uh, I always wanted to meet you, and now I finally am. Well, Andy, I, I'm, I'm glad to meet you, too. You know, I was, once in, I was once in your peanut gallery when I was five years old, you know? And I was just sitting there, and I was kind of depressed because I could see what everyone was like when they weren't on camera. And I could see the man who was working your strings. And I must say, even though I could, you know, even though I could, I could see your strings and everything, to me, you're just as real as anyone else is on this show. And you're, I feel like I'm really talking to a real person. But anyway, one thing I wanted to do that day, and I, they wouldn't let us because there was, there was too many kids, and um, I just always wanted to do this, and I'm just wondering if I maybe could, and that was to touch you. Do you think maybe I could touch you? What? Sure, Andy. Go ahead. You can touch me. Okay. Wow. You know, another thing that I always wanted to do was I always wanted to shake your hand. Do you think maybe I could shake your hand? Oh, sure, Andy. You know, this is just like a fantasy fulfilled for me. Because I always used to want to be on your show. And, yeah, and I, always, I always used to want to be on your show. And I thought that your show, you know, in Dutyville, that's where your show was. And, and um, I thought Dutyville was inside of the television. You know, like the television was this box. And if I went inside the box that was a television, I'd be in Dutyville. And I always wanted to be on your show. Now here it is, about, I guess, 20 years later, and I have my own show, and you're on my show. That's right, Andy. I also... Well, your show went off in 1960, right? And that was seven, about 17 years ago. What have you been doing all these years? But, like, what have you been doing all these years since 1960? Well, they keep me in a box, see? Really? Now, when the show went off in 1960, they just stored me in a box. Well, that's terrible. Oh, uh, 
no, Andy, it, 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 it's okay. You see, it, it's a regular box, yeah. and I'm folded a certain way, mm -hmm. and I just stay in the box. Mm -hmm. The only thing you see when I'm in the box, well, I, 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 I look like this. <laughs> but, yeah, but howdy, isn't it boring? Oh, yeah, sure, it's kind of boring, because, well, there was nothing for me to do for all those years, and, and that's why I really enjoyed being on your show tonight. Well, we Being in front of the lights and, and seeing all the boys and girls again, it's, oh boy, it's, it's really wonderful. Well, it's really wonderful to see you again, too. You know, that I just always wanted to do this, you know, and I always wanted to meet you, and I just have so much that I'd like to tell you, and I wish we could talk more, but, you know, I just want you to know that I love you, and this is really something for me, so... Is there anything that you'd like to say to all the boys and girls? Well, I just want them to know that, well, even though they're all grown up now, they should never forget all those things we hope they learned on our show. You know, things like, oh, they should always brush their teeth and, and eat the proper foods and, and listen to their moms and dads and, and be nice to people. Oh, and you know, those aren't just for kids, but also for the grown-ups, too. And no matter how old they get, Please remember that, well, Andy, I'll always be thinking of them, and, and there'll always be a, a place for them in, in my heart. resort into the 1980 Winter Olympics was an enormous task, enough to give almost anybody an Excedrin headache. Because before a single athlete can soar through the air or fly down a mountain, a thousand problems had to be solved, problems that can cause an Excedrin headache. And for that kind of headache, you want the effectiveness of Excedrin. Excedrin works better than ordinary strength pain relievers with extra strength to stop the pain, extra strength to relieve the Excedrin headache. <laughs> 
If you want a tire that can work in rain, snow, or heat, you know you can count on Sears. Sears all-season weather handler. Sears most economical steel-belted radio. As low as $34.88. Or maybe you want Sears Guardsman Bias Ply, our most economical tire, as low as $19.88. No matter what you spend on tires, you know you can count on Sears. Sears Tires, at the home of the diehard. Also appearing with Andy tonight, Bob Smuda as the stage manager, Mel Shear, Marilyn Rubin, and George Shapiro in The Luncheonette. Two women return to a world where men were really men and get more than they bargained for. 